day six, 10.09 a.m. Emily, Ziggy, Leslie, Shabnam and Charlie are in the bedroom. Some of the other housemates are on the sofas. I'm getting worried about this food situation. Well, yeah. everyone keeps going to the fridge and fucking eating everything in there, not thinking about <laughs> breakfast, lunch and dinner for the next two weeks. It I needs am... to be taken control of. Yeah. Seriously. <clears throat> because people, keep go people just keep going and eating and eating and eating and then expecting dinner to magically appear in front of them and it's not going to happen. And it's going to cause some really big arguments over the next couple of days because everyone's going to be starving because there's no fucking food left. <laughs> Why is it all being all up? Because everyone keeps going there and eating it and not thinking about, oh, we've got to have lunch and everybody's got to eat and, oh, we've got to have dinner and everybody's got to eat. People are just eating out of sheer boredom. So someone's eating loads of one day and someone else is, is not having enough and it's not fair. Same with the toilet roll. People are just like, can I mean... Maybe we should have a food meeting today. But so we've had meetings upon meetings. We had a meeting and all agreed our chores. That, and then it wasn't hap they didn't happen. I find, as well, I'm a bigger girl. Three meals is enough, simple as. And okay, what anyone says, if they're hungry, whatever, 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 three meals is enough. It was enough for me yesterday. And obviously, I'm going to need more food. Bigger people obviously got bigger appetites. No, no, okay. But Laura, you need got... to be considerate. You need to make sure that everyone else has their fair share before you have seconds. And I, and I don't mean that horribly, if, if that's what you want to do. Yeah. I have to say that because the other night when we had that pasta thing, you got oh, you when I made that sausage and bacon, yeah. you dived in for seconds before um, Leslie and Charlie and Chanel before I di even dished yeah. those up. Yeah. I'm sorry, I have to say that. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. While we're on the right, subject, but I had three meals yesterday. Some people had six. No one begrudges anybody of food. Christ, if you're hungry, you've got to eat. But so, and, and when you're going to the or? fridge and you're eating stuff that could potentially be dinner for dinner. For everybody, and then without that ingredient, then you can't make dinner for 12 people. Then that's different. When we had a pork pie yesterday, that's not the case, is well, it? No, that's different. That's a pork pie. You can't make a meal out of a pork pie. 10:37 a.m. Chanel, Carol, and Amanda are on the sofas. Emily, Ziggy, Leslie, Nikki, Shabnam and Charlie are in the bedroom. Chanel has come to the diary room. Hi. Hello, Chanel. I'm finding this whole situation very unhygienic. Disgusting, actually. Because we've got hardly any toilet paper and Carol's got a really, really bad cough with germs <laughs> and she's touching everyone's toilet paper and coughing on her hands and then not washing them and touching the, the toilet paper and then putting the toilet paper on the table where people put their feet. And if someone's got something disgusting on their feet, like Impa Tiger, then we'll get it everywhere else. And we'll all have, like, genital herpes or something. I just think it would be better if you just gave us some more for this week so that we could learn from the mistake that we've made of being too excessive with the toilet roll. And we just won't do it again. Chanel, are you aware of the rules regarding shopping lists in the Big Brother house? Yeah. Shopping list, that's stupid. Okay. Are you alright, Chanel? I am now. I want to get Janelle a hairpiece from the toilet paper, then you'll be really sorry. And you'll have to get me loads of toilet paper. Then. Stupid toilet paper. Please, give us some more this one time. <laughs> I can't even cry because my voice sounds like a bear. <laughs> 11.15 a.m. 
Nicky and Tracy are at the smoking area. And I don't care if everybody's like, oh, who does Nick Nicky think she is? I don't give a shit. At least you're taking control and sort of trying to sort something out. I don't want... I'm only, do, I'm only just going to do this because I don't want everyone to starve exactly. and because I want us all to get on and because it's been quite a nice atmosphere. And it's when lovely. people are hungry, they get fucked off. We haven't even been here a week yet and look at the state we're in. A week we haven't even been here. A week on Wednesday we'll be here. It's not even a fucking week, Nick. Well, that's the whole point. That's fucking wrong. Most of the other housemates are in the bedroom. It's not special. Why do you put your clothes out? Um, because it freshens them up. Why? I, um, the ear dates. No, they're the 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 from the task, Leslie. Pardon? They're from the task. No, they're from Harvey Nichols and they are Juicy Lucy, but you wouldn't. I love Harvey Nichols, Nichols, Leslie, do you? Yes, yes. But the difference between you and me is that I can afford to go to Harvey Nichols. Um, it's one of the tragedies of life. Did you hear that? The difference between you and you two and me is that I can afford to go to Harvey Nichols. You had a what? I had a 9-11 Porsche in black. And I, when you stopped at traffic lights, you could hear people say things. And one of the things that was most interesting and most true was Women can't drive. look at that old lady in that lovely that's what, car that's what it must have been. and I love Women that car drive. have you got Leslie I had a 911 Porsche uh, it was a nightmare every time you went out the police stop you you're, you're cut up all the time you take it into the garage for a service hmm. two thousand pounds why? Um, you because know, you've got a Porsche and they think you and can afford it no that's, that's what, what colour was it Leslie black nice oh my car's black Leslie has to be black yeah that is the colour of cars. I would always have a black car. My dad's Audi is sil silvery coloured. Yes, but well, I as, don't soon, like as soon as you have a silver car, you know you've given up in life. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'll tell him. Tell him. Tell him. I that. will. Tell him I love him very much. <laughs> um, but it's one of those things. Old age beckons. Eleven forty-nine a.m. Housemates have decided they will hold regular house meetings. Nikki. Leslie and Tracy are on the sofas, waiting for today's meeting to start. The rest of the housemates are in the bedroom. We're not go right, I'm gonna go, I gotta go and say this, I gotta all. Yeah. We ain't going anywhere. Girls, get up. It's okay. Yeah. Here you are, I'm only joking, I'm getting up. <laughs> Since you've had him in the house, he's bloody took over him, man. Yeah, do you know what? If the phone runs out, it runs out. Tough, effing, mm. shit. Yeah, to be fair. Okay, all right, have a meeting, yeah, but no, we're not, we don't need to have a rush to have no. a meeting. Oh, we're also buzzing about being in this house, and other people are, other people are younger than me, yeah. other people are buzzing at a different level, which I can totally understand. I can understand that, but at the end of the day, we've all got to think, we've all got to respect each other's. Completely. You know, we just have to, because otherwise it'll all just get so... and it'll just... it'll just explode. But, yeah. Well, I can't we'll say just, anything, because I just we'll say it's because right. you're old. Because I'm getting... I'm a lot older. No. And so is Leslie. Yeah, so, so we can't say anything. Like. We can't say anything. So we're not, you know, yeah, we just have to say because they'll override no, us because they're younger. No, they won't. No, they'll, they'll simply no, go... I shouldn't feel, I shouldn't no, feel no, like that. Sorry, I... Listen, they do respect you. They've got respect, I wish like now, the other girl. By getting up and having a meeting and talking about it. When they're Madonna and superstars, <laughs> they yeah. wish. And well, those, those sorts of people have to get up and... Still count, because that, make, that makes back. their career. They have to be at meetings, they've got yeah, to be negotiate, and they've got to... You know, they've got to They didn't get there through doing their own in bed. There's no way they're going to ever succeed in anything in life. Yeah. They've got no energy, they've got no stamina, they're... Not intellectually curious. They're not interested in anything. You know, they don't ask questions. They just do moaning and moaning. And lay in the sun. Yeah, uh, they are the most boring girls I have ever met. Don't tell me you're going to be a star. <laughs> just <laughs> don't. <laughs> just don't tell me that. Because that's just not going to. No. Happen. I'm sorry. Because if I was running a, a corner shop, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have you. No. <laughs> You're all right. What is it? Look. Okay, now. Meeting. Oh, meeting. Meeting of meetings. I'm um, getting ready first. Well, everyone's waiting. 
I know, but I ain't in a restaurant and meeting about things that's going to make me feel down when I'm, when I'm not feeling down. All right, fine. I don't want to starve. You won't starve, Nikki. I, I think we should still have a talk about, um, like, people being greedy and eating for the sake of eating, but I know yeah. that they won't let us everybody starve. Yeah, everybody like, everybody seems a little bit pissed off about it. Which is cool. But then let's all sit down and talk about it together instead of like it's true. Do you know the what? food. I just think that we should all just, if we're going to eat, fair enough, we're hungry, yeah. But just think that there's so many of us. Exactly. And it's we can't just put the same. Exactly. Food we want. You see, you've got. Yeah, I, I you feel like, like that. I've never eaten for the sake of You feel eating. like that. Yeah. Everybody feels. Everybody's got a bit of an oh, issue or problem. Yeah, yeah, I might want to get hungry. Yeah, but everyone else is fucking yeah. hungry as well. I'm not having a go at you, but this is what I mean. People are just like, oh, right, I'm hungry, I'll have that. Fuck everyone else. We've all got to eat. I'm not, I'm not saying you personally, Emily. I'm not having a go at you individually. Mm. I just think if I'm going to have to go to the fridge, and we every time I want an apple go, does yeah. anyone want to divide it with me, like, into 12 pieces? We're not, <laughs> I'm not saying We that. had a chat, actually, didn't we? We were both food last night. Do you remember? Yeah, because this morning outside you said to me that Emily had eaten more than you yesterday and that yeah. pissed, pissed you off. But you need to talk about we it. We talk about it. No, you were saying that as if I, I'm saying about the back oh, and we spoke about but it. But that's why everybody no, needs no, to sit no, down no, and be talk honest. about it. I'm not you were to down and you're it. trying to bring everybody... This is the way I feel. You're trying to bring everybody down with you. I, I, that's the way Sorry. I feel. But I haven't listened to me this morning. I got up and I was in no, the middle of the morning. No, you're fucked because I've, I've said... No, but I told him down. I'm not. Tell her face. What do you mean? You had a chat to me about food last night. That's what I'm saying. This is what it's all going pear-shaped. <laughs> so it's kicking off now. I was kicking off. I was kicking off. Yeah, so he got over with Danny Sinder. Sorry. I can't be asked this girly bollocks. That's what I'm going to call it. I'd like you to all know that this is what I think of it. It's called girly bollocks. Well, you were in the bad mood and you're bringing everybody down with you. Because now I'm in the bad mood because you're on about having a meeting now and we could have no, had a you're last in a bad mood because I've, I've said to you what we were discussing in the garden in front of Emily. I'm supposed to come in here shit stirring. No, you're not student. fucking shit stirring. You're in a bad mood and you're trying to be able to do the thing. I'm just shit stirring. I just think. It was a point that you raised. Um, hey, Amanda. I'm sorry, I'm giving about food. Are they coming? Because um, well, I'm getting fine. very angry and I, it is not a good thing for anybody if I get angry. Trust me. Don't fucking call me shit stirring, Laura, because I'm not. All I've tried to do is, all I'm trying to do is make sure... Make everybody feel angry and... I'm and not trying... Well, well, that's what you've yeah, done. I don't think that was her intention, Well, that, that, that wasn't her from, intention. How that, well, that's what you've done. How on earth so would you all benefit her so from trying to make everybody has. in a bad mood? I don't know. How the fuck would that benefit me? It wouldn't benefit me at all. So it's an absolutely ridiculous statement to make. Don't you fucking do it. Stop it. Fucking idiot. That's fucking brainless. Sit down. I've got to have a cigarette now. Go, oh, I'll go and have a cigarette and then come back and sit down. I just think she's no, putting everybody fine. down. It would be funny if my mum and that saw that. They'd be like, damn right, you'll be pissed off. Why should you, the skinniest one in the house, not get no food? Because yeah. they ate your food to the That's why I wanted to make Sorry, sure but it's true. Yeah. If I want to go out there now and eat eight slices of fuck your bread, I'm going to do it. Twelve twenty-seven p.m. All of the housemates are on the sofas. It's been thirty minutes since the house meeting was due to begin. We're calling a meeting on household chores, household sleep, and general getting on with each other. Okay? And we're going to go around in order, and we're going to start with Leslie. I have nothing to say. <laughs> uh, that's what I like to hear next. What I'm suggesting, in order to make the meeting be as quick and efficient as possible, so if you want to respond to something, you put your hand up. Tracy, hang on. Tracy makes a mental note of who's first, who's second. Right. You have a minute to speak, and then we move, then we move on. on. Yeah, we've got that. Moving we've got all the time in the world oh, in this place. Should be a time limit. No, but Mary. I think it could drag on and on and on. Well, fine. Right. Fine, you know what I'm doing with it. I'm not doing with it. Yeah. Yeah. No broke down. Come on, Sit down. I can't be doing that. Carol, come on. Please. Carol, we're in a five-minute conversation. Please, Carol, let's work no. together as a team. Come on, Carol. Carol, no, please don't no, no. Please just sit down and we can get this done, please. This is why it's making people are breaking down. I don't understand why we have to make such a big drama Carol, out of a fucking discussion. Oh, fucking girls. Janelle, do you want to raise any points? I don't want to address it now. 
Well, it's the time yeah, to. You've got you, to. You've got, got to. to. You've got to. And then we can get it on. She's not even here. I'm going to ask her to come in. Is the hygiene problem again? We have to do this. We have to. Carol, please, can you come in? Because this is about a general thing to do with everybody. I don't wish to. Shut but Carol, it's it's about like you and me and everybody else. So have all the other things been. You know, I can barely speak. I know. I, mean, I appreciate that you speak. I listen to the point of view. Try to help through it. Can't be bothered. Come on, Carol, please. No, because it'll be the same tomorrow. But I think this meeting's better than the other meeting the other day, and we all seem to be not talking <coughs> over each other and stuff. It seems to be more orderly. What you tend to do is say, it's all right, I'm fine. And you know. Mm. Like sometimes, if it's not all right, I will say, oh yeah, it's all right. And think about how to say it in a way that's not offended. Yeah. And then come back and address it later, which I think is better because then it doesn't cause massive big things for yeah. no reason. Like the toilet roll this morning. I didn't want to say it then because I did appreciate that you were doing it for the group. Nobody else did it for the group, do you know yeah. what I mean? And I appreciated that. So I thought, right, I'll go away, maybe talk to Big Brother about it. Think about how to address it and address it in a way and also, that... if people start moaning about, oh, it's been dished out and she did this, she did that, I couldn't give a shit, quite honestly. Two fifteen pm Chanel is in the bathroom. Ziggy, Tracy, Charlie and Shabnam are in the living area. Laura and Leslie are in the bedroom. Emily, Nikki and Sam are in the garden. Yes, cool. That's the ticket. Do you know what? I, I was so set on not caring that there wasn't any men in here, but I really want some men now. Do you know what? I, I was talking to, to, flirt with. to Tracy about this. I, even though I don't fancy Zach, I find myself looking at him. <laughs> Me too. Do you? Just like looking, just watching, just like, man's back, man's body, man's arms. You know, man smell. He was lying next to me in bed and I went... Yeah. <laughs> but it's a conversation as well, isn't it? Not to flirt with, but it just distracts your attention. Mm. Yeah. A totally different conversation. Yeah, and just to flirt with a bit also, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah, no it gives you something there. to do. There's no yeah. harm in it at all, but it yeah. gives you... Because you have to think about what you're saying and you're trying to make it a, a different impression. Like, we all know each it other. There's no impression work. to make. Yeah. Just looking... <laughs> so funny, it's so true. <laughs> I know, it is true. Let's <laughs> <laughs> smell up for a little bit. <sighs> of that? Sure. Thanks. Sorry for touching it. What cologne do you wear? Um. Paco Rabanne. Oh, my dad has that. Ultraviolet. So, not that one. He's got the old one, like the, the first the one. The old, old one. Yeah, the green one. No blades here. We need to go and have a shower and sort my life out. <laughs> Whoa, hold on, Nicky, this is your life. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, you're not going anywhere. This is how it is. I'll go in a minute. <sighs> Three twenty five PM Leslie and Carol are in the bathroom. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Shabnam is in the diary room. How are you, Shabnam? I need to talk to you because I have had a blast so far and you know, entertainment's been there. I really, really would be happy to be the first one to go. If I walked, what would be the consequences? I wanted to experience this, and I wanted this big time, and I got it. OK, five days is a lot, actually, and I got it, OK, because of being me. I'm not going to lie to you. Of course I want to, be, to, to experience fame. I want the little package that comes with it, whether it's for two minutes or, or two years, you know. Of course, even if it's for two, two minutes, it's great. But I am very impatient, and I, I don't want to be here Say, for example, I said to you, Big Brother, I've made, a decision. I've made a decision, please, can I go? What would be... I mean, would I still get deals? <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry if it sounds horrible. I really am. But I am entertainment in here. 
you think it might be worth seeing how you feel in a few days and perhaps reviewing the situation? OK. If I do want to speak to you later, I'll press the button. Big Brother is always here to talk to housemates. Thank you. Bye. Your buzz. When do you nominate? I nominate this this Friday. Will you put me up? No. I'm sorry that I'm breaking the rules. Because I would really, I, instead of me like walking and going, I would, I'd rather do it that way. I, I'd be so I happy. I wouldn't be allowed. I wouldn't be allowed. I'd be so happy. Just pretend you didn't hear me. I'd be so happy. I really would. To go out that way. He ain't going to put you up. But no, he will. That pissed him off. Take silence when he's got his nerves. Yeah, I will. That pissed him off. 6.53 p.m. Big Brother has set this week's shopping task. All the female housemates are in the garden. Ziggy has been called to the diary room. He must decide how the female housemates have rated themselves in a series of different categories from 1 to 11, with 1 being the most and 11 being the least in each category. Housemates will win £100 towards the shopping budget for each correct answer that Ziggy gives. The first category that housemates have been given is which of them is the most intelligent? Who thinks he thinks Leslie's the most intelligent? Me, because he said it to me today. Yeah, he did say that. He did say that Leslie's the most intelligent woman in the house. No, he said Leslie is a very, very intelligent lady. Am I the least intelligent? Guys, I think Laura is number four and Carol's number five. This is fucking annoying. I repeat, this is fucking annoying. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Housemates must remain on their chosen podiums unless instructed to do otherwise by Big Brother. Ziggy, which housemate do you think the group has rated as the most intelligent housemate? I would go with Leslie. Ziggy. Yes. Which housemate do you think the group rated as the least intelligent housemate? I would say Charlie. No, no offence to Charlie, but I would say Charlie. I was born for this. I'm five minutes more clever than you. <laughs> Actually, I am this much more clever than Sam, so if he gets it wrong, I'll also correct him. This is big time. Yeah. Housemates must now rate themselves in terms of attractiveness oh, on a scale of one to eleven. I'm in the top four. No, but is that what he thinks? What do you lot think? I think you're probably number one or two. Well, yeah, but he fancies you. But he fancies you. What's number one? I'm going to go two because he does fancy you. You should be happy. No, but it's about what we think. And I'm staying at number three. I think she should go number three, you know, because he did say she, she, he, fan he liked her. Emily's number three. He's just shut it. Okay, okay, like, okay, okay, no, okay. hang on. What number? I won't go no, down I to the end. I love the twins after the first three. Come on, Shab, just jump, jump down up. there. Shab. Like, Come on, baby. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go number seven. Well, you, where else are you going to go? Right over there. Tough. Yeah. I'm not moving. Fuck that then. No, it's true. She's not cooperating. I'm meant to be number six. You weren't cooperating me. Move on. So I won't cooperate with you. I did. Ah, that. No, that's bullshit. I know. That's stupid. Tracy, that's ridiculous. Well, deal with it. I'm not doing it then. Don't then. She should move on. Sorry. I won't say anything. Just move down on it. Let her go. Exactly. I'm not taking that one's bullshit. Go on, girly. Just lay the little baby down. I'm not girly. Fuck that. I'm not girly. Yeah. Don't call me girly. Don't try and insult me. You're wrong. You're wrong. No, you're, so you're, you're right, wrong. So you're right, are you? I'm not saying that. I'm not Why saying that. Why are you shouting that. at me? Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't realise I was. I didn't realise I was. I didn't realise I was shouting. You're still doing it. I didn't realise I was shouting. There, that's better. Are you calm now? You're on your little perch. Are I'm you not, happy? You don't have. To, why are you talking to me like that? Why are you shouting at me? But I didn't mean to shout. I didn't. I realised I was shouting. It. I'm loud. Still but don't talk to me like that. I'm a human mean? person. Uh, what do you think I am? A robot? No. But you're aggressive with me. I don't like it, Chelsea. Deal with it. No, don't give me that. Stop talking to me, please. See what I mean? Fine, I will. I've got nothing against you, so don't have anything against me. This ain't kindergarten. It's what we would put ourselves, I would not yeah. put myself at number one. I don't want to break myself like that, I'm fine, because I don't think I am. No, but everybody in this house thinks I'm pretty. No, they don't. That's the problem. I can't believe I'm number one, that's so embarrassing. He's going to think I'm well, well hot and he's probably going to be putting you there. Hello, Ziggy. 
Which housemate do you think the group rated as the second most attractive? Second most attractive. Oh, um, um, um. What I think that they think, I will go with Charlie again. Ziggy. At least they don't seem Which housemate do you think the group rated as the third most attractive? Third most attractive, I will go with... I'll go with Sam. Either one, I mean, they're, they're twins, they both look the same, so... The housemates have been taking part in this week's shop and task for 40 minutes. They now have to rate themselves in order of who is most considerate. I think Leslie's 11. I always make the cups of tea and food, and I give her a slice of bread. Carol's very considerate. Yeah. Yeah, Carol. She's got children. What about Leslie? Leslie's considerate. Emily says I must be 11. No, no, Emily said I'm 11, and I'm happy with 11. That doesn't go until everyone agrees. No, I'm happy with 11. I'll do what Emily says. Does everybody think Carol's number one? This is Big Brother. Housemates have 30 seconds right, twins, remaining twins, to rate twins, themselves twins. in terms of considerateness. Oh. Um, can I just ask a question, please? Everybody move down one. Can I just ask a question? Right. If I were rating myself for considerateness, I would put myself around there. Emily says I must be number 11. Hey, I didn't say it was final. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm just asking the group. Leslie, Wait, swap with me. Do you want to swap with me? Because I think, I think you're much considerate. Here, let me go here. I think Charlie should be nearer the end. Who's Why would I be inconsistent? No, I make cups of tea to everybody. Well, so do I, though. I cook as well, don't I? You've cooked once, oh yeah, and I've got to cook so Whatever. And I'm... You know, it's not a lot of jobs. more clothes here. So that everyone in this line thinks I'm not considerate. No, I don't. Should we swap Chanel? No, it's okay, we can't now. Ziggy, which housemate do you think the group rated as the least considerate? This is the perception that I'm going on, which I think, which I've seen for the last few days, which I think other housemates would pick up on. I, I've mentioned her name a couple of times already before. Maybe Charlie is probably the least considerate. Ziggy. Which housemate do you think the group rated as the second least considerate? Second least considerate, I will go with Shabnam. Thank you, Ziggy. Pleasure. Big Brother will get back to you in due course. I think I, when this goes on TV at home, I'm going to feel embarrassed that we can't just decide something without oh. screaming over each other. And jumping Amy. on the podium, yeah. we should be down there deciding. Posh and Amy together, isn't that funny? These you are. <laughs> Fucking nominate me. Everyone. It's going on, to be those that shout us loudest that are going to complain when we don't get much food. Piggy at the table. Piggy at the table. Very she's a piggy time, at the table. So, and she's going to suffer. Eight or five p.m. Housemates finished the shopping task thirty minutes ago. All the housemates have been gathered on the sofas. This is Big Brother. Today, in the shopping budget task, Ziggy was tested on how well he knows you all. Two days. <laughs> Bullshit. Housemates, you selected Leslie as the most intelligent housemate. We didn't select anything, we just went with the oh, look at his face. Ziggy predicted Leslie. Oh. Yeah! I'm right. I'm right. I did say, you know, you know what I said? Girls, whatever is said, please remember it's only after two days. Please don't take offense of anything. It doesn't matter. We got £100 though, so far. Yeah, so we get new Yeah! This is Big Brother. Housemates, you selected Amanda as the least intelligent housemate. Yeah. Which one's Amanda? Ziggy incorrectly predicted Charlie as the I least intelligent that. housemate. I told you. I this is the what I thought everyone one, thought. I said yeah. I was there first and we then were, they were like... We were like oh, that. That. Thanks a lot, Housemates. least intelligent. You selected yeah. Chanel as the second yeah. most attractive housemate. That's right. Our third. Ziggy incorrectly predicted Charlie as the second most attractive housemate. Oh, so we've got so the not the first and last of all of them. Housemates, you selected Emily as the third most attractive housemate. 
Ziggy incorrectly predicted Sam as the third most attractive housemate. I, I said, can twins come together? And they said, no, oh, so I said, right, I'll choose one of them. So, so far, we've only got one right, so we've got £100. No, we can't live on £100, though. Good afternoon. This is Big Brother. Housemates, you selected Chanel as the least considerate housemate. What? I didn't. I can't Z see how that incorrectly is. predicted Charlie as the least considerate housemate. No. No, I, how can no, I be when I sweep the floor? <laughs> Babe, I put it, it's just the first couple of days of what I think yeah. the people have thought. No. Oh. What? No, I'm just saying, how can I be the least considerate? I think <laughs> I've done a little bit more than some people. Well, you I'm tell not me who else, most people, probably maybe one more person. <laughs> you tell me who else, who else has, what else has other people done? I mean, it's, this is what I've taken from what yeah, I think yeah, you guys yeah. think. Yeah, yeah but I, do you know what? In my consideration, just because I think she's considerate in all ways, don't get me wrong, but who? she, um, Shabalicious. Me? I, you're going to three, I thought you were going to put her, I put her next because basically the other day I said to her, uh, oh, who wants a cup of tea? She came through and said, I'll only make a cup of tea for myself. But, so to yeah. me, that's not yeah. considerate. We've had arguments, we've had the respect thing, people looking in the mirror when people are talking to each other. To me, that's all about consideration. <laughs> oh, I that's see, where that's I put it as. Me, Sh Emily and Chanel, we didn't know. They put me number one for the most attractive. I didn't say that for myself. Oh, I can we move on from which group? Just done it. No, but why is everyone getting so stressed out? It's hungry Because food. we just failed our task. Yeah, but bloody hell, light, you, lighten up a bit. Charlie, I'm you hungry, Tracy. Else? My mum, I, my fridge is never empty. I shop like there's no tomorrow. But it's beside the point, I'm not going to eat as much as you ain't. We don't, why are we arguing or getting stressed out? Let's just relax. Just in this house. It's a fucking game show. We've got £100 to spend on food and toiletries. For a week, that's all. For one week. We're not going to date for a week. We're not going to fix yeah. that. Yeah. Let's be grateful that at least we have a yeah. This is big brother. Bloody hell, Laura. Housemates, and you selected Shatnam as the second least considerate housemate. Yes, two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds. I'm so glad you're the second least considerate. Oh, the best thing you've ever done, man. In total, Ziggy has two hundred pounds. I'm having a fucking chocolate. Least considerate. Two fucking chocolate bars. That is that sixty pounds. All right, I don't ask for much, but chocolate. Milky bars, they don't cost much. I'm having two. Ten thirty-six p.m. Tracy, Ziggy, Chanel, and Sam are by the sink. Some of the housemates are at the dining table. She gets bored quite a bit, doesn't she? She talks so much about it never today, I did not get a word at all. <laughs> no, I swear, when I'm talking, she butts in everything. And when you're saying sure, she carries she does on. all the time. And I won't bring go back in there, but you do not get a word at all. Big Brother has called Shabnam to the diary room. Shabnam, as you know, it is a fundamental rule of Big Brother that housemates must not attempt to influence another housemate's nominations. Today, at 4.07pm, you approached Ziggy in the garden and asked him when he would be nominating. You then said, will you put me up? Then, at 7.36pm, in the garden, during the shopping task, you said, fucking nominate me, everyone. Big Brother takes rule-breaking very seriously, and as you clearly attempted to influence nominations on two occasions, you will be punished. Clearly, I can't give you an excuse, apart from I'm really sorry, it's been... One of those days today where it's been more analytical, and at one point today I did feel fed up. I mean, it's, it's bound to happen, you know, to everyone, it's human nature. And I have really, really been enjoying myself in here, but however, there have been times where it has been pretty difficult. And, you know, it hasn't been tough, tough, but it's been pretty difficult. And what actually frightens me is if it gets tougher, I don't want to suffer emotionally in here. Shabnam, your punishment will take place shortly. You are now free to leave the diary room. Okay. Not in the picture. I'm going to get punished. Because I, I said to Ziggy late, uh, earlier, I said, oh, you can, I said, when are you nominating? I don't mind, I don't mind. She said, so they're going to punish me for that. I'm scared, I don't know what they're going to do. Oh, I don't want to be punished. I should get a reward, man. <laughs> it's true. Oh, well, if I get punished, I get punished, innit? What are going to do? Shall we sit here? Shall we do it? Yeah. Here, I'm just going quickly, just go over the habit steps just that quickly. It takes okay. like two seconds. They should probably give the twins their own pair of bloody straighteners. Well, that's what I said. They're just they're obsessed with them, you know? No one gets looking. This is Big Brother. Laura? Housemates. 
earlier today, oh. Jacqueline broke a fundamental rule of Big Brother when she tried to influence another housemate's nomination. I actually didn't mean to do that! Big Brother takes the breaking of rules very seriously. Oh, well, you know, I didn't mean to do that. You As can understand. As for this rule break, the bathroom will be out of bounds until further notice. Oh, come on! You're having a laugh! Housemates have five minutes to cut the their belongings from the bathroom. To toothbrush and stuff. Oh, you That's bitch, Shab! Well, uh, well, uh, well, I didn't mean to do that. They should ban me from the bathroom. There you go. Well, no, because we all suffer. I yeah, I know. I'm sorry. That's how I they did, work it. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't mean it. Oh, my God. They're going to take it away from us. Somewhere. For two days. Two days? <gasps> Don't say that till a massive, massive attack. Oh, God, everyone will smell. It's not a smell. Two two days, days, they just go to have a shower in the mornings. Did they say two days? No. Until further notice. Oh, flipping hell. 10.51 p.m. Earlier this evening, Big Brother made the bathroom out of bounds after Shabnam broke the rule regarding nominations. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Big Brother has provided housemates with one set of gas-powered hair straighteners. Well, that's all right. Just there's no point doing it this time late in the night, is it? And you all the gas. Uh, I, I know, but we're doing Emily's killing, but does it waste gas? Because do we not go out tomorrow anyway, or not? No, it's their no, brother's discretion. They we, me and, me and um, Chanel had to use the small little bit of gas that was left, which did that much. I didn't do mine as much Basically, as I did. Basically, the situation is we can have one thing per day. Per day? Per yeah. day. Yeah. So that's that's so, oh, you mean so you use all our then? For well, today. from my hair. I've got fuck loads of hair. Exactly. But we've got to take them back tonight, or we I won't come on me. Yeah. Yeah. Leslie and Ziggy are at the dining table. The panic over, over here. I mean, the, Where? I mean, the, the anxiety. Hair seems to be the major preoccupation. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't really have said that to uh, Chanel. Now well. she thinks that she's got priority over everyone else. No, I think she should have priority over everybody else. Why? Funny. She got she got one hair style. But what if what if she goes first every day and always gets to use it more um, than everyone else? Come on, it's not. By Chanel using it four times would be you one time. She got short hair, very very short hair. There's hardly anything on her head. If you start like giving yeah. people priority. Um, people think they can do it in other things like food because no, I've done. Nothing in food. No, no, but I'm just saying you shouldn't give anyone priority in any sense because then people expect it. Perhaps I was never young. Perhaps I was busier. Perhaps I had something to do. <laughs> Perhaps I had a brain. Perhaps I had good hair. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Emily, just then, all I wanted to do was straighten the bits of my hair, and there was no need to be, like, so defensive with the straighteners. It took me two seconds. All yours is being done now, and all I wanted to do was use the straighteners on this side of my hair and this side of my hair. It's so so not, why it's was it like that? It's not that. It's, it, like, it's irrelevant how much hair you've got. I was just making a point. If you start giving people priority over, like, luxuries in this house, they'll, ex they'll expect it from other Everyone's things. Okay, saying, but the thing is, that. all I wanted to do was straighten this bit, straighten this bit. It's a simple two-second thing. And to get so defensive that you want your head on when you can have it down in natural curls and you can have it up in a bottle when I can't. But it's it's to personal press, personal preference. It's not what I can do and can't do. No, it's not. For you, it can be this. But it can be down natural. Can, it can, can be up hair. in a bottle. You can have your hair in lots of different ways, Emily. That's right? true. I'm sure you can as well. Oh, what ways would those be? But you be? can put clips in. You can put a little ponytail at the back. You can no, I can't cheese. put a little ponytail at the back. At all. Well, you can't, can't you just can't put all of Emily, right? Look, what's the point in arguing about this, really? The point in arguing about this is that you just acted like a complete spoiled kid when all I wanted to do was fucking use the straighteners. Don't swear. I will can swear if I want to. No, Emily. Emily, 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 Emily. If you can walk around, right, stomping your feet because you don't get the straighteners. I just said, why are you giving her priority when I was waiting in line? No, you were waiting in line. I was a queue. And maybe you were in the queue, but I was also in the queue as well. Chanel, do you think it would make a difference if I did mine first and you did yours after? Yeah, because the length of yours is, you could use the cylinder up. No, but would it make a. I would use this. So there might not be. You could do, couldn't you? There might not be enough gas in there for me to finish my hair. Look, really, Chanel, it's not an issue. OK, maybe it's not for you, but it is for me. And I think I'll just remember the way that you were being so rude and the way that you accused me of pushing rude. in the queue and I wasn't pushing Chanel, in the queue. I didn't, I didn't shout at you. I didn't make gestures at you. No, I didn't all swear. you did... Emily, you stood here and did this. <sighs> I was just voicing my opinion. I didn't I Well, didn't do you know swear. what, Emily? Sometimes there's a better way to voice your opinion than acting like a spoiled child who is older than... younger than eight years old. <laughs> what? 
I don't know, I don't know what it's all about. Darling, would you like to come and talk to me or not? No, thanks. Oh, dear. Oh, it's that bad. I just can't be doing with her. She's so spoiled. She, get up here. She's yeah. so spoiled, right? The other day she wouldn't move out of the fucking bed because she wanted the bed and she wouldn't move out of the bed. Today she went on the straighteners, so she gets to use the straighteners. We all had to listen to her around the thing. When she had the banana, fucking waving the banana around like there was no other bananas in the world. Mm. And now, I just think all I wanted to do was straighten this bit and this bit of my hair. That's all I, wa <coughs> That's all I wanted to do. And I'm not even allowed to do so. I've never seen her this fucking Fucking hell. Fucking now I told you, I'm not oh, a bitch. I knew I was. I knew there was. I don't think she's a bitch or because she's been. I don't mean a bitch. I mean, oh, I. Oh, look! Do you, you've seen the gestures that I'm supposed to be doing? What gestures? Obviously. She's out there going, I'm acting like this. But you do understand where we're coming from, or I don't know about the issue. But I didn't address that, that in. Was oh, I no, rude? No. Can you tell her that it wasn't rude? Because I stood there and I said I wasn't rude about it. No, you were, yeah, you were just saying that you haven't used them, but it's not, it doesn't matter what the other day, it's just a clean new cylinder. I'm really sorry, but I wasn't rude at all then. She made it an issue out of nothing. Can I put a really? little bit of this on? Mm. Yeah. You know that the real, the real cause of what's going... My mother, my mother used to say, listen to me, because my mother was the wisest woman ever walked this earth. My mother said, if you ever want to look at the root cause of any problem, try jealousy. No, Just, I don't... No, that's work. Think about it and... and I don't necessarily think it's that because you know I don't I don't know why it would be that. Why I would I not know? Why would I not have a, a jolly good idea what it you know? But like I just think there's no reason to say oh no you can't use the trainers. And then when I said oh Emily I'm using them for two minutes I stood there like this. <sighs> That's what oh, she that did. was good. That was good. I, I didn't. <laughs> uncanny. I just think apart from the fact you're better looking no, and you've got better I'll, hair and you're much nicer I'll person and, and I'll, not I'll such a selfish cow and stupid. But oh, apart from that, it was uncanny. She really insulted me today, right? The fact of the matter is, when we were outside and she was she like, she you. said to me that I should get to ten intelligent ten. I know, darling. I know. I had to, I had to, I had to get to that number one rather sharply. I felt. Fuck off! Isn't I'm, that funny? Yep. Yeah, hey, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Cough. 11.51 p.m. Some of the housemates are in the garden. <laughs> what can we play? Um, should we play something to the ball? Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. We did the ball. Again? I've never really noticed Oh, my God. 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 Excuse me, you see. <laughs> Don't you dare want to bring my new swim set! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that whole talk. It's funny you're not, because your pants are coming down, so you yeah. 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 No, no, no difference to me, Johnny, because they're coming down. Chanel has come to the diary room. How are you? I'm a bit irritated that out of something so minuscule and minute, such a massive thing could be created. I just think that Emily really does look down on people. I find her completely irritating. She thinks that she's so well-spoken and she thinks that she's so intelligent and she thinks that she's so gorgeous and fantastically, brilliantly amazing at everything that she does. But she really isn't all that. Help it if I've got a natural curl to my hair. It's too short. To tie in a bubble. I've been excited all day to tie in a bubble next week when it's grown. Oh, <laughs> 
in here and we'll finish it. No, 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 no,